Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this specific video, we will cover how you can host a Vue.js application on a virtual machine. Uh, you can host it on any platform. You just need the access to virtual machine. If you do not know how you can create a virtual machine, you can watch one of my previous video where I talked about how you can create a virtual machine on Microsoft Azure and how you can connect to it using SSH server. After watching that specific video, you can follow along with this specific tutorial and you can learn how can you host a Vue.js application. And yeah, we are going to use Nginx to host it. We're going to use Nginx insert bot to give the SSL certificate. So let's just start. So first of all, here's my browser and this is the simple project that I wrote a really long time ago. So this is a simple calculator in Vue.js. I'm going to host it. So the first thing you need to do is go to your domain, uh, whichever domain you are using. So, so currently I'm using this domain called divcon.com. So you need to create a CNAME record because I, I want to create a uh, subdomain so that I can host multiple applications so you can just click on add and you can select a CNAME record and let's give it a host to be calc and points to the at so you need to put points to the at so which is basically going to represent the current IP address so then just save it all right so once it is done you can now open up a terminal and now we can connect to your or to our virtual machine. So if you guys are not familiar with how to how you can create a virtual machine and how you can connect with it, so you can watch one of my previous videos that I will mention uh, in the description. So yeah, now you can just connect to your virtual machine just by typing your SSH and then the username at your domain name or IP address. So I am using ISSH here, so it is just an alias that I have created. But in your case, you might need to use the SSH. So you just need to connect to it. Now provide the password. All right, so once it is done, you can see that it is a virtual machine. All right, so now if I type ls, here is a folder called code where I store all of the uh, project folders. So inside this folder, we are going to clone this specific view calculator. So we'll say git clone and paste it. All right, so once it is cloned, you will see the folder here. So the folder is view calculator. So you can go inside it. Now over here, these are the files. Now I'm going to build this specific Vue.js project. So in order to do it, first of all, you need to install the dependencies. So just type npm i. So it is going to install all the dependencies from your package JSON file. So it's going to take up a while. Alright, so once it is completed, if you type ls, you will see a folder called node modules. So this means all of the dependencies are installed. So now we are going to type npm run build to build this specific Vue.js application. Okay, so you guys can see now it is successfully built. And if I type ls, I should see one more folder, which is called dist. So if you go inside the dist, you will see your static file, which is this index.html. All right, so we are going to deploy this uh, application now. So first of all, you need to create a configuration file for Nginx, but before this, you need to install certain packages. So we, are, we need to install Nginx. So just type sudo apt install Nginx. So this will install the Nginx. Now, in order to host it, you need to install a package called Python certbot. So you can do pip in sudo apt install Python3 dash cert bot all right so you will see this package so cert bot you can install it so once the once these process uh, is done once you have installed all of these uh, packages you can create a specific uh, configuration file for nginx so i'm going to type vim so let we need to use sudo etc slash nginx then slash sites dash available and now I'm going to create a new configuration file. So let's call it calc.divcorn.com. So if you in the beginning, if you remember, we have created the CNAME record. So it is going to act as a subdomain. So I'm just going to provide this as the name of the configuration file. Now there are two directories in the Nginx folder, which is uh, sites available and sites enabled. So you need to create a configuration file in sites available, and then you can directly symlink it with the sites enable. So once you have created it, now you need to paste certain content. So let me take my notes here and let me paste the configuration file. All right. So you can 
get this specific uh, content from the description don't worry about it so you need to do certain settings here so first of all you need to change this specific server name to your server name so in my case it is calc.divcon.com and uh, I can remove this all right then since we are using a, uh, a certificate SSL certificate so basically what we are doing whenever a someone tries to send a request to this port 80 this request will be transferred to the port 443 okay because we are using an SSL certificate and uh, then here also you need to change the server name so we are going to do calc.divcon.com and you can also remove it then over here we will generate this uh, certificate in a while so we are just going to provide the name for those certificates clc.divcon.com I'm going to name the certificate as calc.divcon.com now over here if you come back to this location we just need to change this specific path so inside the code directory we have a folder called dash view sorry view dash calculator so view dash calculator all right so everything else can be the same all right so once you did it you can save this file and exit out of it now you need to stop your nginx first of all to create this uh, ssl certificate so we'll do sudo system ctl stop nginx all right so once the server is stopped now you can run this specific command called let me copy it and paste it here so now you can run this specific command and you can change your domain name here so we are going to use calc.divcon.com so i'm going to provide this specific name here and then hit enter so it is automatically going to create the certificate for this specific domain but if you are running this for the first time it might ask the email address of yours and also it will ask for some confirmation you just need to do yes yes and once it is done you can restart your nginx but before doing this we need to create a sim link in the sites enable directory so we will do sudo ln dash s and do etc slash nginx slash sites dash available slash the name of the site was calc.divcon.com and i want to create a sim link to etc slash nginx slash sites dash enabled then slash calc.divcon.com once you created it now you can restart your nginx so i can do sudo system ctl restart nginx all right so once you restarted your server so now if i come back to the browser here so let me open my browser so now if i go to this specific domain called lib uh, calc dot divcon dot com if i hit enter now you can see the calculator so this is the calculator that we have just hosted using nginx and you can see it is ssl certi ssl protected so you will get the https on your domain now if you try to go to the http version of this site it will redirect you to the https so this is how you can host a simple vue.js application and create ssl certificate for it so yeah this is it for this specific video now a quick disclaimer guys if you are liking my videos and please make sure to subscribe because a lot of you guys are just watching and not subscribing to the channel it actually helps me a lot and keeps me motivating so that i can make videos regularly so yeah this is it for this specific video hopefully you like it